Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. My name is Isaac Spoon and I'm here today to show you the difference between the Strike Industry Warhog, which is this muzzle device right here, and the Strike Industry Sail, which is the one that's installed on the pistol right now. Uh, do a little safety check, nothing, no mag. So if you haven't checked out this build, I have uh, more detailed videos and some of my other videos on the channel, kind of showing you more in depth. The, this is a QRB system here. The barrel comes off and this is an integrated folding lower as well. So if that interests you, go check those out. I mainly wanted to get a 12 and a half inch barrel for this build. And I didn't really want a three inch, four inch muzzle device on here because the barrel itself is already kind of long for an AR pistol. I didn't want that extra length. So um, I went searching for the shortest muzzle device and these two are the shortest ones I was able to find. So let me show you up close kind of what they look like. You can see the baffle and the warhog is a lot smaller than the baffle and the sail. Um, this one is 0.2 of an inch shorter than this one. I can't remember off the top of my head what the actual measurements are. I'll put them on the screen here. In the initial video that I put up of this build, I talked about comparing the difference between the Warhog muzzle brake and the Sail muzzle brake, both from, from Strike Industries. This one is like 18 bucks, I think. You can see the baffle. And this one is like 47 bucks, if I'm remembering correctly. The baffle is a lot bigger in this one and I was mainly just getting these for two reasons. One, I, I wanted a short muzzle device. I'm still searching for the right linear compensator that's not, you know, three, four, five inches long. And I wanted to, to do a comparison between these two to see if there's any difference in felt recoil and if it's worth the extra money to pay over twice as much for this one versus buying this one. So I'll, I'll clip in some videos here showing the difference um, slow-mo shooting the, um, with each one of these installed. I do think that this one is a little bit better, but I mean, it's up to you. This one is nearly identical and it's less than half the price of this one. So if you're really worried about it too much, this one will be just as fine, but this one is a little bit better. There's a quick video showing some side-by-sides and also kind of a closer view of what to expect from the sale and the Warhog. I hope you guys found some enjoyable content here. And if you want to see more of this type of stuff, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get the gear for it. Thanks and I hope you're having a great day.